In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure our new video uploading feature and how to use the feature within the website. And then at the end, I'll also show how this video feature works in the BuddyBoss app. This feature allows your members to upload videos directly into activity posts, messages, into profiles and groups, forum discussions, and into documents. This update also brings improvements to the security and performance of our entire media component. To get this feature, just update to the latest version of BuddyBoss platform and BuddyBoss theme. And if you're an app customer, also make sure to update your BuddyBoss app plugin and then create a new app build. Okay, now let's jump into the WordPress admin and get started. Here I am in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss components, and we can scroll down to media uploading. First, make sure that you've enabled the media uploading component, and you can see that we've added videos to the supported media types for this component. Next, let's go into the media settings. And as I scroll down, you'll notice a new settings area has been added for videos. And I'm seeing a notice at the top telling me that the server needs FFmpeg installed to be able to automatically generate multiple thumbnails after uploading video files. FFmpeg is a script that can be installed on your server. If FFmpeg is not installed, everything will still function nicely. When you upload a video using JavaScript, we will be able to generate a single thumbnail from the video automatically. However, if you do install FFmpeg on your server, then after uploading the video, we are also able to generate multiple additional thumbnails from the video using the FFmpeg script. And I'll show what that experience looks like on the front end of the website in a little bit. You can ask your web host to install this for you. Next, let's go ahead and check to enable video uploading for profiles, groups, messages, and forums. And I'll scroll down and click Save Settings. Now that I've enabled video uploading, I'm getting this notice that I need to create a videos page. This will be a directory page that displays all videos uploaded to the community, filtered to each member based on permissions. This page works similarly to the global photos page if you're already using our photos component. So let's go ahead and click on repair. And then for videos, I'll click on create page. and the page was created, and then I'll click on Save Settings. And then let's add this new videos page into the menu in my theme by going into Appearance Menus. And I'll add this new videos page into my title bar menu. And I'll click Save Menu. And while we're doing this, I'll go ahead and add a videos directory into my app as well. This will be an app version of the videos page that we just created for the website. So if you're an app customer, just go into Buddy Boss app branding, and then click on tab bar. And under core app screens, you can see a new option has been added into here for videos. Let's go ahead and add that into the tab bar. And then I could reorder it and we can see that reflected here. And we can also see that a videos icon has been added to the tab automatically. Okay, let's click on update. Okay, so now let's go configure a few more video options and then we'll check out everything on the front end. We can go back into Buddy Boss settings and then media and i'll scroll back down to videos you can configure a maximum upload size and allowed files per batch depending on the available space on your server keep in mind that video files can be very large and consume server space rapidly so be deliberate with your settings here one of the challenges with hosting video files is that they can be very large and at volume in a community, they will take up a lot of your server space. The simplest way around this is to host your website on a cloud hosting service. There are many popular cloud hosting services, and a lot of them price things in such a way that you can relatively inexpensively expand your storage without having to bump up the rest of the server. The other option is to use a third-party solution for offloading WordPress media to Amazon or Google or whatever other service you're planning to use to store your media files. And then we can move to this option for file extensions. 
I can click on Manage to configure which file types are allowed to be uploaded. From here, you can enable and disable the allowed file extensions, and you can also click on Add Extension to add additional ones. Note that not all video file types are actually playable from a web browser. We're using an HTML5 player, and we've already added all of the file extensions that are supported through HTML5. So if you do add additional file extensions, those file types will be able to be uploaded by members, but will not be playable in the browser. The user will need to download the video to play it. Video files are also supported in documents with playable video previews when clicking the video file in the document. So let's go to the file extensions list for documents. And when I scroll down here to the bottom, you can see our video file types have been automatically added with a video icon being used for the files. You may have already added some of these extensions in your website in the past. If there are duplicates, it will still work, but you may want to delete the ones you manually added just to clean the list up. All right, so let's go back into the media settings. When I scroll to the bottom, you will see this new settings area for media security and performance. This update includes some major under the hood improvements to the entire media component, especially in regards to security and performance. Previously, when media files were uploaded to your server, a PHP script was used to access the file based on permissions set by the member. When many files were accessed at once, this script could take some time to run. In this update, we've implemented something called symbolic links. Symbolic links create a shortcut to your member's uploaded media files, meaning members will no longer have direct access to the URLs of the media files themselves, which will improve the security of your member's photos, videos, and documents. Symbolic links also reduce the time it takes to render media files, meaning file previews will load faster than ever. If you have a lot of media in your activity feed, then your activity feed should load noticeably faster after updating to this version of BuddyBoss platform. Here you can see we're showing the status of the feature. Symbolic links would need to be activated for you to get those benefits. And I can see this notice saying that symbolic links are activated on my server and that direct access to my site's media files and folders has been successfully blocked. If your server is not set up for symbolic links, the plugin will show you a notice letting you know, and it will automatically fall back to the previous media functionality. If direct access is not showing as blocked in your site, then you can click to read this tutorial to learn how you can optionally configure your server to allow for this. Okay, now let's go check all of this out on the website front end. Here in my activity feed, if I click to add a new post, I have this new video icon now, and I can use this icon to add a new video. I'll select this video file, and it's uploading. It's done, and I'll click on post update. And you can see that a thumbnail has been automatically generated. And of course, I can play the video. And as I hover the video, I notice these three dots in the upper right. From here, I can change the thumbnail, move the video into an album or delete it. Let's click on change thumbnail. From here, you could add your own custom thumbnail. And as I mentioned earlier, if you've installed FFmpeg on your server, then you're going to see multiple pre-generated thumbnails here that you could choose from. Let me quickly show you another website that does have FFmpeg installed so you can see how it works. This site has FFmpeg installed on the server. So let's go ahead and upload a video. And I'll add some text. And then let's post it. And then after posting it, we can come back to the video and click on change thumbnail. And you can see some additional thumbnails are being generated for me. This could take a moment or two. Okay, now it's done. So now I have multiple thumbnails to choose from, making it a very simple experience for me to find a good thumbnail. These additional thumbnails were generated by the FFmpeg script. So now we can choose a thumbnail. I'll pick the second one and I'll click on change. And so now the thumbnail has been swapped and it was a very easy experience.
Okay, now let's go back to the previous website and I'll show you some more cool things that we can do with videos on the front end. If you have used our documents feature before, you will be familiar with the ability to move documents into folders. And in our photos feature, you can move photos into albums. For videos, they can also be moved into albums. This functionality is being shared with and is dependent on the photos feature, meaning videos and photos are stored together in the same albums, similar to what Facebook does. So if you've disabled photos, then the ability to move videos into albums will no longer be available in your website. Let's go ahead and move this video into an album. I'll move it into my vacation album. And it's been moved. When I click on the video, I see some options here, including this enlarge button. And if I click that, it opens up this media pop-up, the same experience like we do with photos and documents. And from here, I could comment on the video or add a description. I'll just close it. And I can also click down here to edit this post. And from here, if I wanted to, I could add additional videos into the post. Now let's go click on videos up here in the title bar. This is the videos directory page that we created earlier. And from here, we can see the video that I uploaded. And if other members add videos, they will all appear in here as well. I can also add new videos from here. This time, let's try adding a bunch of videos at once. I'll add all four of these. And we can see that thumbnails were generated for all four. I'll click done. And we can see our videos have all been uploaded. So uploading those videos automatically generates an activity post. Let's go see how that post appears in the newsfeed. And you can see it creates this really beautiful gallery style post. And then if I go into my profile dropdown, I can click on videos. And from here, I can see all of the videos that I've uploaded from within my profile. And I could also click on photos and then albums, because again, videos get uploaded into photo albums. Let's go ahead and open this vacation album. And we can see that the video that we moved into this album earlier is now here, along with the existing photos from the album. So now let's go look at messages. So as you can see, I can now attach a video to a message. I can also attach videos into forum replies, documents, and activity posts within my own profile and within groups. If you've been using our documents and photos features, then this new video uploading module should feel familiar as it has a similar interface and similar logic. All right, now let's go check out how videos look in the Buddy Boss app. Here we are in the app looking at my activity feed. And as I scroll down, you can see that the videos we uploaded earlier are all appearing in our activity feed including our gallery view here. Let's tap to view one of these videos and I can swipe between the different videos from this activity post. Let's tap to play one. I can tap here to go into full screen mode. If I were to rotate my phone, the video would change automatically into landscape mode as well. I can tap here to like the video and I can also comment. And I can also tap here to access the other options. Let's tap on move. And from here, I can move my video into an album. I'll move it into the vacation album. 
All right. Now let's go into the videos tab that we created earlier. And from here we can search and filter through videos and we could tap any video to watch it. Let's go to my profile. And from my profile, I could see all of my uploaded videos. And I can also go into photos and then albums. And we can see that both of the videos that I moved into this album are showing here now. Let's go check out documents. And we can see a video file that was uploaded as a document. I can tap to open it. And the preview works for documents as well. And videos that have been uploaded into forums, messages, and groups are going to display properly in the app as well. The one feature that is not yet supported in the app at this moment is uploading new videos through the app. We're currently working on a really great interface for uploading videos and choosing thumbnails in the app, which will be released very soon. We're so excited to deliver this video uploading feature to all of you. We've worked really hard on this, and I want to thank our developers for all of their awesome work. And I also want to thank our amazing customers who volunteered to beta test the video uploading feature and provided valuable feedback to our team. We know how important video is to the growth of many of your communities, and we're excited to finally get this feature into your hands.